But we've had that retreat. We've had that anyway, without the screen. Keep in mind, this last couple of years, we have been performing and doing shows with people with masks on in the audience. So now we've removed this part of their face. Now you're going to, I've done comedies with that. That's unnerving, you know, because we kind of can hear people laughing. And so an actor has had to really adjust. It's been very hard on actors to go back into the world of a live performance when it's not completely there. And people don't have to wear masks, but people choose to. And that's, you know, that's a good, that's a good thing. People's right. choice. But when you take this away and we don't know if people are laughing, you know, when we first started doing Chicago this last year, people were still masked. And then they took the mask off. It was a whole different feeling, you know? So we already have had that removal of bodies. So not knowing, you know, a, 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 an audience doesn't have to. It's funny, when you lose this, audiences don't really engage a lot with their bodies. They engage with their face. And so right. when we lost the face, right. it was, it was, it was unnerving, you know, to hear. The best thing that's happened is for us to be able to see people's faces in the theater again and hear them, you know, to hear that. So we, we, we've kind of been, it's been a lot to, to for, and it's been a lot for artists to, to kind of navigate. How do we move forward? And, and um, you know, I worked in Japan a long time ago in Tokyo, and a lot of that audience was masked in, in in the culture they you know when people aren't feeling well or if there's something they often mask and I remember going I wonder if they like the show you right. know I can't really tell and at the end they go crazy and it was really rewarding so it, it made me think of that you know that we, right. we may that might be a normal for us of some people may choose to continue to be to be masked 